That's coming straight from the street. We heard from neighbor after neighbor after neighbor. The water's got to the point where we've not been able to drink it. The water out here is terrible. Some days it looks like tea. It's left stains around the toilets. The tubs are permanently stained. We're paying, and we shouldn't have to pay for this. This was the water being pumped into the homes of the Jordan Woods neighborhood. And when their water company came to flush the street, you'd think they'd struck oil. The Hilton family had had enough, so they asked WNC and Investigates to look into it. We took their concerns and their water straight to the company's president in Charlotte. I can clearly understand their concern and would like to extend their uh, sincere apologies for any type of inconveniences the iron and manganese may have caused them, but the water is safe. It's safe, but we have, we have a sample from those homes, and this is, you know, the water that's being pumped into their homes. Would you drink this? Um, well, Jonathan, I have no idea the origin of that water, so I cannot uh, comment as to whether I would drink that or not. Is this a product, though, that you would feel comfortable putting out to these homes? That's not a product that I'd like to put out to our customers, no. I can guarantee you if it was their families living in, you know, this area, that it would not have stayed like this. But how was this even acceptable? The state says it all comes down to priorities and breaks water quality into two standards. Primary standards are legally enforceable and limit contaminants that can affect public health. But secondary standards deal with smell, taste, and color and are not mandatory. I was just beside myself. I didn't know that it could actually get that bad and that a company could actually let it get that bad. We also pulled reports and found the company has been violating secondary standards for manganese for over two decades, but the state assured us their water is safe. The company says part of the problem was the original tank was too small for this neighborhood. This is as close as we can get you because they've now posted no trespassing signs since our first story, which is fine, but they promised to have this cleared up within 90 days, so we've held them to that. They put in a brand new system, um, and I'm thankful for that, and that was all because of you guys and, and the work that you did. We were there as crews installed a brand new 25,000 gallon treated water storage system, replaced filters and added new pumps. The company says it also added another tank that would help flush the system. It was in with the new, out with the old. This is what we have, which is um, beige. <laughs> it's a lot better than what we had. For now, the work is complete, and so far, the difference is clear. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I'll give it a month, you know, just to let, you know, any kind of sediment or anything settle back down. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys have done an awful lot. I don't think any of this would have happened without you guys. Now the company's handing out these letters, letting homeowners know they've finished the work and they'll continue to monitor the water, as will we. For now, People living on the street are just hoping their water will continue to clear up and that the company will come clean on their promise for clean water. I'm Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News.